Healthier Together. Sponsored by Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon. Their impact over time stacks up and they sort of push us closer to our emotional or mental limits. It's kind of that death by a thousand cuts. Death by a thousand cuts otherwise known as micro stressors. Those tiny daily annoyances, frustrations and worries that can pile on to become a much bigger problem. It's different for everyone and can be as simple as unanswered emails, sitting in traffic, incomplete to do lists, disagreements or criticism. Sometimes they can be so small we barely even notice them. But it builds, and when left unchecked, microstress can cause major physical and mental health problems. Here's Dr. Daniel Meltzer, Executive Medical Director for Regents. They impact our physical and our mental health, the same as chronic stress. So they can disrupt our sleep, can result in exhaustion, it can result in digestive issues or weight gain. It can even impact things like blood pressure and the risk for heart disease. And the effect on our mental health, he says, can be profound, contributing to things like anxiety and depression, with difficulty concentrating, feeling defeated, and decreased motivation. Okay, so you might be thinking, but wait, isn't this just life? And yeah, in some ways it is. You can't control traffic or make everyone agree with you. You just can't, but you can control how you react to it and how you let it affect you. Getting a handle on micro stress starts with figuring out what your micro stressors are. Figure out, you know, what's bothering us and, and are there ways to counter or eliminate them? Once you pinpoint those micro stressors, it's time to put in the work to mitigate them. The Harvard Business Review looked into this and found that even eliminating just a few micro stressors in your life can make a significant difference. They suggest these three strategies push back on micro stress in concrete, practical ways. This can range from learning how to say no to small asks, managing technology, and how it notifies you and interrupts you. Be attuned to the microstress that you're causing others. Finally, and this might be one of the most difficult ones for many of us, rise above. One reason some microstressors affect us is simply because we allow them to. So try to put things into perspective and explore mindfulness techniques like breathing and meditation. All of us are faced with, again, these daily annoyances. Part of it is identifying them and recognizing the toll that they have and then having the courage and, and wisdom, if you will, to do something about them. And there is technology that can help. Mindfulness apps and meditation apps. We have Dr. Meltzer's suggestions up for you, along with more resources at kgw.com slash healthier together.